This is New Delsta, the Metropolis. Wow. Excuse me, madam. But my apologies. took us all around the western continent when we were little, but I don't remember any city quite like this. Hmm? What's this? S -s Superstar? Like, I can't wait to see Dulcinea perform. We should count ourselves lucky to see the greatest dancer in the land. If we don't hurry, all the good seats will be taken. Let's go! Folks can show me the way to this superstar. It's worth a try. Intimidate me. I gotta keep going. Ticket, please. A ticket? You need a ticket to see the show. Ticket? That's a fun word to say. But we didn't have anything like that back home. Well, Mom always said to do as the locals do. So I need to find myself a ticket.
Take it, please. I have one right here. Thank you. Take this half with you into the theater. I will. Thank you. Thank you for coming to our theater today. Please be seated. The show will begin shortly. Looks like I'm just in time. With a voice sweeter than honey, and dazzling dances that outshine the brightest gems, please welcome the woman who defined the word star, the greatest dancer in the land, Dulcinea Lucille! All for you. I was born to be a star. But it is thanks to you that I can truly shine. Now then, let the night begin. Hey, let me go! Uh, that hurt, damn it. If you want to watch the show, buy a ticket like everyone else. What's got your purse strings in a knot? I just wanted to take a peek. Dulcinea, the greatest dancer in the land, graces our stage. We are a theater! Not a charity. Come back when you have money, or not at all. Good grief. Well, show's over, and it looks like the stars are out of my reach. Huh? All for 
for you. It's no wonder she's a superstar. Well, well. You've got some hot moves, kid. H hot moves? That's right. I miss Dulcinea's show, but seeing you has me all fired up. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm quite fired up myself. This incredible town is overflowing with dreams. Ah, you got that right. The name's Gil, by the way. I run a tavern in the back streets. Did you know that dreams taste like beans? B beans? I serve more than just spirits at my tavern. I've got freshly ground coffee, too. Come see for yourself. I owe you a cup for that dancer. Uh, really? Of course. You're more than welcome. Welcome to Montrain's Tavern. It smells so good in here. Here, have a cup of coffee. You won't regret it. Mm, it's bittersweet. The flavor of dreams. Only a handful of folks can become stars. The rest are just stardust in the wind. Hmm. Or so some folks say. In any case, take a load off. That's a beautiful piano. Can you play it? Montrain could. He was a famous pianist and a master at captivating people with song. After he retired, he took up tending this very tavern. I was born in this town, and every day was as boring as the last. Except when I could hear him playing the piano from the alley. Hearing those melodies made me forget about my troubles. Yeah, those were hot sounds. I came here whenever I could. Montrain even taught me how to play the piano. I wanted to be able to make music like him, to make others smile. So, I practiced and practiced. Sometimes the patrons laughed at me or jeered, but I never gave up. Before I knew it, years had passed, and no one paid any mind to my music. Montrain grew old and passed away. That's when it finally hit me. I've got no talent. Hmm. <sighs> After that, I took up tending the tavern and selling spirits. Enough reminiscing. I'm thirsty, Gil. Good grief. Is this going on your tab, too? You know you have to pay that someday, right? Gil? I want to hear you play the piano. Sorry but I quit. As you should. <sighs> Dreams are good for nothing but getting you hurt. 
Say, Gil, would you mind if I danced here? Why would you want to do that? <sighs> I guess I just feel like it. Of course. You're more than welcome to. Thank you. Now then, we need an audience if we're going to have a show. I'll go gather a crowd. Hey, now, don't get too carried away. I can only handle so many here. Bring any patrons you find to me, okay? <laughs> okay, see you soon, Gil. Something tells me things are about to get a lot livelier in here. <laughs> that was fast. Keep them coming. Will do. Oh, you found another. Come on in. This is just the beginning, Gil. You've already gathered quite the crowd. Are you really going back out again? The crowd's all warmed up. What say we get the show started? That was incredible! I've never seen anyone dance like that before. I knew it. Your moves really are hot. T to tell the truth, I was hoping you would dance for them too. Say, Gil, would you mind if I stayed here to dance for a while? Oh, not at all. But I wouldn't be able to pay you for it. I don't mind at all. Now then, let the dance continue. Did you hear? Gil's got a dancer over at his tavern. They say seeing her steps will lift your spirits. Really? Maybe we should check it out. Good morning. Feeling any better now? Yeah, a little. Morning, everybody! You're early! You seem surprised. I'm an early riser! Damn. Is something wrong, Gil? I was so busy getting ready here that I forgot to restock. I can take care of that. I'll leave the cleaning to you, Gil. Thanks, kid. Out of my way! Uh, my apologies! <laughs> what 
What was that all about? Maybe he was one of Gil's patrons. Well, I guess I can ask him after I finish the shopping. Back so soon, kid? Did you forget something? It seems like business is booming for you. I know you. You're the guy from the theater. What brings a man of your esteem to my humble tavern? <laughs> I came to remind you of your place. And fresh bread and spices. That's everything. Hmm. That's the man I saw earlier. Oh, good sir. Spare a leaf or two for this old man? How revolting. This is why the poor disgust me. I've had more than I can bear of your reeking lot. Uh, are you alright? What's this? Another mangy cur? There simply is no end to your numbers. Luckily for you, I have work to do at the theater. Ah, you mean this? <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. I... I fell. You are a poor liar, Gil. Who did this to you? <sighs> the theater manager. <gasps> Is that the man I saw earlier? But why? Seeing this tavern thrive just didn't sit well with him. He said if we perform again, he'll destroy the whole place. That's awful. <sighs> Our joy here is always fleeting at best. <sighs> We're used to it. <sighs> Dreams really are good for nothing but getting you hurt. Yeah. After you came here, kid, I admit... I felt hopeful. Everyone here was so happy. It reminded me of my own dreams. So I started playing the piano again, writing songs. But it just wasn't enough to make those dreams come true. <laughs> I'm just stardust in the wind. Don't say that. Dreams aren't good for nothing. <sighs> you said that man managed the theater, right? He has no right to trample on the dreams of others. So I'm gonna go over there and give him an earful. Uh, really? Kid.
Excuse me, ma'am, but there's no show today. Where is that manager? Who, who might I ask is looking for him? can't just go in there! Excuse me! Mr. Manager, wait right there! You're the one who attacked Gil and the others, aren't you? And you're their house dancer, aren't you? Have you come here looking for a real job? No, I came to talk to you. <laughs> I merely gave them what they deserved for daring to imitate my fine theater. This town has no need for two such establishments. Those patrons are mine by right. Anyone wishing to be entertained need look no further than where we stand. You! You regret trying to take away people's fun! There's no greater fun than can be had in these halls. Of course, the tickets may be beyond the means of the rabble. But they still have Montrain's Tavern. That's a place of hope for them. I want Gil to be able to dream again. So promise me you won't lay another finger on that tavern. I won't leave here until you do. How dare you speak to me like that? If you won't leave, then I will swat you like the annoying fly you are. You won't swat me. What to do? Try me. Oh dear. Come, little lamb. My turn. Axe attack. There. It's my turn now. This is what it means to be a star. Forgive me. This is my turn. My turn. Time. Pierce, open book. All right. The winds of favor blow. Oh dear. your prayers. Repent. Elsie, the flame breaker. I need you. You annoy me to fly. My turn. You're open. Time to shine! It's showtime! Sure. Ready? Very well.
you won't be <laughs> Well now. A fire king. Now. <laughs> Don't overdo it. Playtime is over. Sorry, but I won't hold back. Pierce. Cleaning <laughs> time. Damn you! This isn't over yet! That's quite enough. <gasps> Madame Dulcinea! I was wondering what all the commotion was about. You are to leave that little tavern alone. Do you hear me? But, my lady... Have you no shame? Need I remind you who I am? I am Dulcinea Lucille, Continental Superstar. The realm rejoices when I dance. There is none who can compare to my splendor. Now then... Promise this young woman that you won't harm that tavern ever again. Because I refuse to dance at a theater owned by such a disgraceful man. What? I... I promise. Good. That settles that. Tolchinea! <laughs> that dress and hairpin are lovely, dear. It's my dream to be a star, just like you. Is that so? Then there is one thing you should know. The path to stardom is laden with thorns, little dancer. Kid. We were all worried, so we came to find you. Thank you. All of you. The tavern should be safe from now on. Though Jenea made that manager promise not to hurt you guys anymore. Dulcinea did that for us? I'm sorry, kid. You had to go in all alone? Don't fret about it. How's your face? It'll take more than that to do me in. And my partner's alive and well, too. Uh, your partner? You fixed the piano! Thank goodness! Yeah, it's still got some life in it yet. And then let's celebrate. We can put on another show here. Um. Is something wrong? You can't stay in a place like this, kid. There's a whole world out there that could use cheer like yours. Gil... From here on out, all of us here will be putting on shows together. We'll try to bring whatever little hope we can to this town. Thank you. That's our line. You helped us remember something important. 
Thank you. Take this as a token of my gratitude. Thank you, Gil. That was a beautiful song. Thank you, kid. It's been hot. Don't be a stranger, Agnea. Yeah, come dance at the tavern anytime. Thank you, everyone. I want you to have this, kid, as a parting gift. Sheet music? I call it Song of Hope. It's the song we played the other night. I know it's not much, but I hope you get some use out of it. Are you sure, Gil? This song... It's the least I can give you after all you gave us. Thank you so much, Gil. This song really is beautiful. I can feel the hope in every note. You truly are amazing, Gil. It's just the notes, unfortunately. The words wouldn't come to me. Would you mind if I wrote them? I think I might find some words as I go on my journey. I hope you do. I'd love to hear it when it's finished. Say, kid, what did you feel when coming to this town? I felt... I want to put those feelings into the song. I'd like to experience all sorts of things on this journey, and turn them into music. And I want to sing and dance to this song, and bring smiles to everyone's faces. I know you can do it, kid. You're going to be a star someday. Gil... I could say the same to you. Why were you so kind to that dancer, Madame Dulcinea? Kind? Perish the thought. That tavern is no threat to me. More importantly, are things proceeding according to plan? Yes, my lady. <laughs> Music to my ears. 